Island Mochi is a small business run by ASU junior Brendan Wong, who wanted to bring a small piece of home closer to the downtown campus. Originally from Hawaii, so I really miss mochi a lot. Mochi can be found in a variety of different desserts or foods, the most popular or common being Japanese mochi ice cream. Very popular in Hawaii, you know, there's a lot of Asian cultures, they're Chinese, Japanese, you know, they kind of mix it in. There's every kind of um, different Asian race, you know, they have a different take using the similar ingredient, which is um, rice flour. It's very fine and once it gives it a really sticky texture, chewy and sticky when it's consumed. Wong started his business after he discovered his love of making mochi, which came from his mom sending him a ton of the sweet treat. I went home that summer and I was like, okay, I'm gonna figure out how to make this because my mom keeps sending it to me. I'm gonna get it fresher and it's gonna be easier so I don't have to buy it anymore. Started off with friends and family and then kind of reached out from there um, on Instagram started building up my presence and I did I did pretty well that I was like wow I was felt pretty good that summer when I came back to ASU I was like might as well see if I can um, get some traction here with trial and error Wong decided to pursue baking mochi exclusively due to immense positive feedback it took me a long time to actually get it right because mochi is kind of finicky and I got that figured out in that and I brought it over to my friends because we went out to hang out at the beach and they're like I was like, oh, I brought you some mochi, and they're like, ooh, and they tried, and they're like, wow, this is really good. And my mom's like, yeah, you should like sell it to your friends. Along with Wong, ASU student Angelica Olivas can also be found at the Markets Island Mochi stand. It's been super fun. It's nice to kind of like be involved in the community and just like have like a Saturday activity. Um, but it's been nice to help him, and obviously he's really into it, so it's been good to help him with that. ASU student and food blogger Isabella Fredrickson tried Wong's Hawaiian dessert earlier this past fall and had nothing but good things to say about the small business. I tried his mochi, it was absolutely amazing. I posted about it on my food blog and I also um, used it for a couple other stories for class. Fredrickson talked about the dessert significance in various cultures and her experience with eating different types of mochi. I tried his Hawaiian butter mochi, which is baked and um, that's very common in like Japanese, Filipino, and Hawaiian cultures. So I previously have like tried that myself. My sister actually makes it all the time. But yes, I've definitely had the baked mochi before and Brendan's is probably my favorite. The journalism student also commented on the importance of island mochi being located in downtown Phoenix. The thing I really liked about um, Brendan's business is he brought like the island love and the island culture to downtown Phoenix. Obviously since I love island mochi I've told all my friends about it and none of them even knew what that was, you know, because that's just not around here. So I think it's really cool how he's bringing like the Hawaiian culture and the Hawaiian food into downtown Phoenix. Definitely in the process of, you know, coming out with new flavors, new exciting flavors, trying to work on those island flavors too. We have a new like pineapple coconut mochi which is really exciting as well as, you know, um, some more Hawaii local favorites such as like ube and matcha, which are a little bit more known like in islands that people really crave there.